<laughs> What's good y'all, it's your boy Ray and I am back for another video. So, got another food review for y'all. Coming out here from El Pollo Rico out here in Bakersfield. It looked like a El Pollo Loco like upgraded a little bit. It looked like El Pollo Loco matured a little bit. It looked cool, I was looking online. Y'all know I gotta go to Yelp every single time. But, my bad if the camera a little funky, but it is mad cloudy outside. I love this weather, but for the content and shit, I'm not outside, I'm in my car there. That's a given, it's a little dark, but we're gonna get straight to it. So, this shit look busting, I ain't even gonna lie to you. This chicken look crazy. This chicken looks great. Get off my face, dog. Don't know if y'all can see that, but this shit looks so good. They got the whole chicken plate, chicken fries, carne asada fries, two chicken combo, burritos, Cuban, I guess a Cuban spot. Cuban sandwiches, they got the rice, the beans. They got salads, they got beef, ribs, steak, everything looks good. Oh, let me, everything look busting. Don't know if y'all could see that. Fresh off the grill. Oh, they got pupusas. Oh, they got the pupusies. They got the pupusi. Oh yeah, so we gonna get in there, we gonna try this. It's off of, it's right across the street from my gym. So Tuesday, if y'all in Bakersfield, it's right across the street from Choose in the same parking lot as the Foster's Donuts, right next to the Liberty Tax Place. But, all right, enough of me blabbering. Let's go get up in there, let's get this food and see, see what it's hitting on. Fresh off the grill, oh, they got pupusas. Oh, they got the pupusies. They got the pupusi. Oh yeah, so we gonna get in there, we gonna try this. It's off of, it's right across the street from my gym. So Tuesday, if y'all in Bakersfield, it's right across the street from Choose in the same parking lot as the Foster's Donuts, right next to the Liberty Tax Place. But, all right, enough of me blabbering. Let's go get up in there, let's get this food and see, see what it's hitting on. They said I can come to the back. Hold on and take a look. This is dope. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, y'all, this looks so good, bro. Uh huh. Sheesh. Yeah. Is that big catering order right now? Oh, is it cater? Yeah. Okay. This is dope, bro. Oh, yeah. oh man. Uh -huh. Got the flat grill. What happened? We do everything else, bowls, burritos. Okay. Everything else being ready. Everything's freshly cut every single day. Okay. Freshly, freshly cut. Right now we have a huge catering order of, I believe, about 200 guests for Costco. Oh, man. We do ADPD, you know, Candy Permanente. We do, you know, a lot of business. We get a lot of catering. Come take out the food. Very, very delicious. Okay, yeah. And how much is the big, like a big catering order like that? It depends on uh, pretty much uh, what you guys get. We got small packets, small, medium, large, extra large, we got holiday specials. Mm -hmm. Pretty much whatever it is you want, talk to the boss, you know, he'll hook you guys up. Okay, yeah, y'all, El Pollo Rico. This chicken looks fire and it smells so good back here. So yeah, y'all, I spent $13.99, so 14 bucks on half chicken combo. It comes with rice, pinto beans, jalapenos, tortillas, and I asked for it well done. I usually don't do that, I usually get it, but I don't know, I, I'm kind of hungry, so I kind of wanted it to be exactly how I wanted it today. But yeah, bro. Hey, this is the first spot that let me walk in the back. That's cool. Well, all the other spots probably didn't even know that. I, well, this first time I'm doing like a restaurant, so that was dope as fuck. I fucked with El Pollo Rico. Heavy. So y'all get here. I got the menu right here. They got a lot of it. And here are all the other cities that they got it. So if y'all close, Palmdale, Canuga, Sun Valley, Arleta, and Van Nuys. Nuys? Nuys? Man, y'all tap in. Hey, y'all. So, 
they threw in some free shit. Hold on. I don't know what this is. It's like a... Oh, it look like a little dessert. Like a little fried... Empanada. I don't know if it, it looked like pizza, but I think that's like strawberry cream. I think it's two. It's three in here. Oh, shit. Oh, y'all finna go dumb. So, I'm gonna show y'all where to get the best guac. What's good, y'all? So, I'm back. Came up here to Chipotle to grab this guac. Like I said, this is the best guac in the game. I used to work at Chipotle, so I know. Chipotle is the one place that I really fuck with because they is clean. Like I've been saying, I can't fuck with dirty spots. Chipotle, all the food be prepped right they throwing all the old shit away they're not using no old shit so that's why i fuck with chipotle heavy and the guac is just fire it's hella simple it's just i could get y'all the whole ingredients right now it's just fucking avocados red onion salt lime cilantro and then they sometimes or they use like a little bit of peppers in that hoe but yeah let me get into this review but here go the chicken right here they hooked it up low key they let me walk back there record they gave me this extra shit so it come with half a chicken so you get the breast, the thigh, a leg, and a wing. I think they threw a little extra in here because I see two breasts. Unless they just cut it in half by accident and threw it on here. You get the pepper. Here you go the rice. That look like that Uncle Ben's. I ain't even finna lie to you. And then the pinto beans is just regular ass pinto beans. So yeah, I'm finna get up in here. Let's see. Let's see what it's hitting on. The streaming shit? Mm -hmm. Oh man. Let's try this rice, y'all. Like this the yellow rice? I don't know if it's Columb. Alright, thank you, man. Catch you. So this the yellow rice. Let's see. It got that flavor. This shit really got that shit got that flavor. Damn, that's kind of good. It tastes like, like the rice is like, I don't know, it's, it's giving me like Uncle Ben's, but it don't taste like Uncle Ben's. Like, I don't know if Uncle Ben's got like a variation of yellow rice. That shit good. But y'all saw the backup, I don't think they out in there doing no bullshit. Here go the pinto beans. I like refried beans. Oh. The flavor is there, bro. It is a little, like, eating it on its own, it's kind of a little salty, but the flavor is there. Like, you can actually see, like, herbs and shit inside of the, I ain't trying to drop the beans again, but you can see, like, the herbs inside of this motherfucker. A little bit up in here, and the steam is still coming off here. Rice was a little cold. All right, let's get, I like dark meat just because it is, Juicier. Here we go to chicken. Damn. Somebody letting off. Oh yeah, let's see. Alright, for real well done. Hey, this shit good. Got the flavor. You can tell they season this bitch to the teeth. Homeboy cook like somebody auntie. I ain't gonna lie to you. They back there getting down. And then you taste that grill. You taste the grill, you taste the wood. And I usually don't like that woodsy taste. But this here, I think they had wood and charcoal in it. This is, yeah, you can see the seasoning inside. You can see it all throughout and I broke this I broke this in half and you can see. Hold on. This might be the new spot. This is way better than El Pollo Loco. Oh! Damn. All right, they gave me tortillas too. Let's see what the little making a little taco hit on. I ain't gonna put the guac on it yet. I'm gonna just let it, I'm gonna let it rock. I'm gonna use the breast for this one. I'm use a piece of the breast for this one. That char tech, you, come on now. Stop playing with them. They gave me two green, extra greens and one red. I would have rather had the red, just because I like that spice. All right, let's see. All right, I ain't gonna do the guac yet since it's not from the, from the spot. 
That's what we working with right now. Oh yeah. This shit good. Like I said, it's a breast, so breast always gonna be a little more, I don't wanna say dry because it's not dry at all, but it's not gonna be the same texture <laughs> and the same moistness as the, the dark meat. So now I'm gonna try dark meat, this the leg. Like I said, you can see the seasoning all through the, all through the bit. I got everybody looking at me and shit. Y'all not gonna come up and ask the YouTube channel back up. Mind your business. That shit busting. Right, let me make my, let me assemble my taco. We got the guac. I'm telling y'all, Chipotle has the best guac. I don't care what, say what you want about Chipotle, but like I said, I used to work there. Everything is fresh, everything is good. Only only fuck only dispute that I got with Chipotle is they be trying to play you on them ingredients. And I just saw a post about that shit the other day. People trying to boycott Chipotle saying they be bullshitting with the portions. Cause they do. I ain't even gonna lie to you. I always ask for double, double rice, double beans. I don't really get extra meat. I've been trying to cut back on the amount of meat that I'm eating. So I just get I don't care if they give me a little bit. And then the guac, bro. They'll have a fat spoon of guac. I'll be ready. Ooh, it looks so good in that spoon. Finna get in my bowl. And then they like slap it on the side of the thing and all the guac fall off. So it's like, damn, bro. Now you just gave me a little bit of guac. So that's the only thing that I, that's the only issue I got with Chipotle. I think it's pretty good. I know a lot of people say it's not authentic Mexican food, but it's not. It's not authentic Mexican food. Like, you gotta take it for what it is. And if you take it for what it is, it's fresh, it's good. What's the problem? Okay, show y'all what I'm working with. Hey, this a big one. This an extra large jaw. All right, let me get it. Hold on. Damn. This might be the best thing I ate out of all these reviews. And I'm not even lying. It ain't Mike, it is. This shit busting. Jesus. I honestly want to put that whole side of that taco in my mouth right now, but I looked at the camera like, let me not. I'm not trying to be on no big back activities, man. But oh my God. It's a little cold, but I was sitting here talking to homeboy. He was a security guard. And he said he be doing like basketball content. He showed me some of his clips, he followed me. So I may be doing a little something with him. He said he's trying to get more into like other shit. So yeah. Out here networking, you feel me? But, oh my God, this is so good. Shoes got dirty and I'm wearing. It's the worst thing about wearing ups. You gotta go through ups every three, four wears and that's Mando. This is so, look. You see the char. You see the seasoning. You see everything on this motherfucker. And the taste is there. So I know everything else is good. Like I said, they have beef. They have pork ribs, beef ribs. Like steak, steak uh, slices. They have pupusas, Cuban sandwiches. Did I say burritos? And it wasn't expensive. I just, damn. It wasn't expensive. I just got all this for $14. And it's even cheaper. They said it's even cheaper when you come on like, I didn't have like a happy hour. I was just too, I came too, too late, I guess. Or it's only on a specific day. I'm greedy as fuck. And I'm damn near full. This is the best cut of the chicken. The thigh. 
inside got the most flavor, be juicy. You get that skin. If you season it up, you get that skin right. Y'all know about that skin from them. I know y'all know about that skin from them rotisserie chickens. And that's exactly what you. This is really just a rotisserie chicken, but way more flavor. Ooh, this one got the skin on it. Oh yeah, this one finna hit. This one finna hit for sure. Jesus. Damn. Oh my god. Oh, they give you this big ass pepper, but I don't, I don't mess with peppers like that. Every time I bite peppers, nigga, my whole mouth feel like it's gonna fall off. Especially jalapenos. People be like, jalapeno not even all that high. Nigga, jalapenos will take my mouth off, but I like spicy shit. And I could do like spicy sauces, but for some reason, anytime I bite a jalapeno, my whole mouth just feel like needles is punching it. Got the rice, got the beans, got both the sauces in this hoe. Oh yeah, let's go crazy. Here we go. Get a little thumbnail. Ooh. Oh my god. I'm not biting this. Damn. Like it's taking, I'm not, I'm being 100. This is so good. I'm forcing myself to eat this last one just because it's good. Like the rest of this is just gonna go home getting in the refrigerator but this is good like i'm not gassing i ain't gave it ready yet but i'm not gassing this i'm i'm legit full i usually i don't give shit tens at all i don't but that's me i don't believe nothing is a 10 nothing is perfect but this is a 9.8 9.9. This right there. This is damn near close to perfect. And I'm not guys. I'm gonna do an individual. The chicken, nine and a half. Rice. Texture of the damn. Texture of the rice is a little different. But the flavor was up there, so I'll get a rice at eight. The beans, I like refried beans, but these beans they have a lot of flavor. So I'm gonna give the beans about, what did I get a rice? I get the rice at eight. If whatever I said at the beginning, fuck it. I'm gonna get a rice at eight, I'm gonna get the beans at eight. I'm not gassing it. The tortilla tastes like a tortilla. It's in a little bag. So I'm pretty sure they didn't make these, they probably just bought them. Or they might get them from like, X. ooh, them Corvettes is nice. But they might get them from a spot and they just put them in a the bag, I don't know. But the rice, I mean the tortilla tastes like a tortilla, pretty good, nothing crazy. So I get that tortilla about, Seven. Seven and a half on rice and beans, my bad. Seven and a half on rice and beans is good. But this chicken, this chicken, 9.8, 9.9, just because I don't believe anything's are perfect. But this is right there. Oh my God. And you taste it all. You taste the char. You taste the season. And you can see, like I said, I don't, this camera probably not getting it, but you can see the seasoning throughout this bitch. So you all together, I get this, I guess a nine and a half. Easily. It's an easy nine and a half. I don't gotta think about it. Hey, y'all saw me in them other videos. I don't know what to give it. Based on the price and based on this, don't matter. So it was $14. I'm full. And immediately from biting it, I knew it was good. So, I'm gonna eat the rest of this guac. But yeah, Chipotle got the best guac. Oh, the guac. Nine out of 10 on the guac. Which y'all knew that already. Boom, boom. Oh, I got these little, like, whatever these little dessert things are. I mean, a lot. And they did feel kind of cold, so they probably was just there. You know, like, oh yeah, let them try these. Oh, they gave me different shit. So these is what I was talking about. Yeah, it looked like it's strawberry with cream and like a fried dough type thing. These, I have no idea what this is. I don't know what this is. And it's not on the receipt because they gave it to me for free. If y'all know what this is, leave it down in the comments. I'm gonna taste it, but. 
Alright, let me see this. Oh, it's flaky. It's like a little croissant. It's flaky, buttery. Got a piece of meat in here? Alright, let's see. Oh, yeah, it's like, like a little strawberry croissant. It's good. Still flaky. No, it's, it's actually busting. No, this is actually like busting. I get this up. Probably hot, it'll be a lot better. So just because it's not hot, we got 7.8. No, seven and a half. I'll get it again for sure. Can't eat too much of it though. Sorry, make them off. Now that was good. That was for sure good. All right, let's try this. <laughs> Whatever this is. Oh, it's like a, look like it got beef in it. Like a fried beef with some type of, I smelled this smell before. It tastes, it smelled like. but I just can't put my finger on it. Damn, this clip is 20 minutes. I can't put my finger on it and it's pissing me off. I don't know what that was called. Somebody, oh yeah, somebody I said, I've been getting a lot of interactions on my Instagram too when I've been posting this. Somebody said, we gonna get fat again eating like that. I mean, maybe, but like I said, I still be, I still be fasting. Like I haven't eaten anything all day and it's already about four o'clock. Just been drinking water. And I still hit the gym just about every day on a weekday. And sometimes I go on a Saturday, like today's Saturday, but I didn't go. But I don't, and if I do, I'll just hit the gym more or fast even more, eat less, whatever. Hey, shout out to my dog, Raj. I just got, uh, uh, he owns Heart of India. He just told me to come by and do a food review one day. So, hey, Indian food on the way. But yeah, we gonna, uh, I'm gonna clean up all this. <coughs> I'm gonna clean up all this and then get back to the crib. My sister and them are coming over. It's already 4.59 to watch the game. So I am kind of late a little bit. Like I said, they 49er fans. Don't really know. But yeah, I'm gonna slide home. Like I said, hey, y'all go check this place out, man. El Pollo Rico, y'all go check it out, man. This shit was good. Like I said, it's for sure. That chicken was a nine. That's the highest rated thing that I've had so far. And I'm not. I am not gassing it. I am not gassing it all. That shit was good. But I'm going to catch y'all on the next one.